Hi, my name is JBRNBSN and in this video, I will be talking about 24-hour urine collection, which is one of the most popular topics on NCLEX and you need to be able to know this by heart so that you'll be able to answer questions correctly regarding this topic and as a nurse, you will be able to educate your patients properly on how to do this procedure. So without further ado, let's get started. So what is a 24-hour urine collection? It is a lab test that measures the content of a person's urine and it is done by collecting the urine in a special container which is provided to the client in a 24-hour period. The container must be kept cool until the urine is returned to the lab. So it is very important for the bottle to be kept cool with your urine on it, with the client's urine on it, so that bacteria or microorganisms will not be able to multiply faster. It also helps diagnose kidney problems. It is often done to see how much creatinine clears through the kidneys and the healthcare provider will be able to validate the diagnosis of their clients with the help of the 24-hour urine collection. So what are the conditions that can cause kidney disease? Includes to name a few are diabetic neuropathy, high blood pressure, kidney stones or nephrolithiasis, nephrotic syndrome, screening for preeclampsia for pregnant women, and the list goes on. So what are the risks of a 24-hour urine collection? So with this procedure, there are risks to consider. The first one, forgetting to collect some of, your, some of the client's urine. So they may be able to forget collecting the urine within the 24-hour period going beyond the 24-hour collection period and collecting too much urine. So extending the 24-hour urine collection is prohibited. If they spill the urine or did something wrong with the urine, they need to start over all over again. And then losing urine from the specimen container through spills, not keeping urine cold while collecting it, Vigorous exercise is prohibited with this kind of procedure, acute stress, certain foods such as coffee, tea, cocoa, banana, citrus, fruits, and vanilla. So how do the clients get ready for a 24-hour urine collection? So the clients will be provided with a big brown plastic container and a container where the clients will store their urine and make sure that the clients know how to use them. So it is a brown plastic container so that light wouldn't pass through the bottle, which will alter the results. Uh, the clients will be told to start the collection at a certain time. Usually the best thing to start is in the morning around 7 a.m. and then we'll, it will be done by 7 a.m. the next day. For pregnant women, they must seek advice from their healthcare provider and the client's healthcare provider must have a list of all the medications they are taking including prescriptions or over-the-counter, uh, herbs, vitamins, supplements that they are taking. So to prepare, uh, the clients will get, as I've said, a large bottle to collect their urine and advise them to put their name on the bottle. There may be a label for them to, to, write, to write their name into. Some tests need a chemical added to the bottle when they begin the test. If urine is spilled or not collected, advise your clients that they will need to start over again with a new bottle and inform them that they do not get toilet paper or stool in the urine because it will alter the results. And keep the chemical and bottle of urine away from children and pets. Keep the collected urine cool or refrigerated, but do not freeze the bottle. 
and keep the container in a safe place where it will not be exposed to light because it will alter the result. So during the test, you need to inform your client that they do not need to exercise more than usual while they are collecting the urine in a 24-hour period. And some test requires the client to restrict their diet or certain medicines, how to collect the urine in a 24-hour period. This is the procedure. To start, empty your bladder and flush that urine. So to start, urinate and discard that urine and then write down this time as the start of your 24-hour urine test. So discard the first urine Take note of the time and that will be the start of the 24-hour urine test. It is often easiest to start when you first or the client gets up on the bed early in the morning around 7 a.m. Go to the bathroom to urinate. So uh, the client must get a clean cup or container that was provided to them to urinate into and Make sure that it fits the toilet seat to catch the urine. Be sure to sit enough forward to make sure all of your urine goes into the container and not into the toilet water. If a chemical is added for your test, pour it into the bottle. For the next 24 hours, urinate in the cup or container and carefully pour the urine into the large bottle. Keep the bottle in a refrigerator or cool it in ice but do not freeze it and do not put the bottle in a room temperature because microorganisms or bacteria will multiply faster. And at the end of the 24 hours, urinate one more time and put that urine into the bottle. Bring the bottle of urine to the lab the day you finish collecting your urine with the client's lab slip so you need to advise your client after the 24-hour period they need to go to the laboratory and submit the specimen for example at 7 a.m the client should urinate but does not save the urine it needs to be discarded and then takes note of the time because this will be the start of the 24-hour urine collection and then collect all urine thereafter for the rest of the 24 hours. So the first urine is discarded. Take note of the time and that will be the start of the 24-hour urine collection. And from then on, collect all of the urine within 24 hours. So that, for example, from 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. next day. At 7 a.m. the next day, urinate and put the urine into the bottle and then bring the bottle of urine into the lab. Test results are sent to the client's healthcare provider and the healthcare provider will share the results to them. So guys, thank you so much for listening to me. I hope I was very helpful to you. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Please share this video to your friends and to other nursing students. See you in the next video. Thank you so much. Take care and happy nursing.